Welcome to On the Mic with Mike, RVA, the premier social enterprise business show in Richmond, Virginia, here on WNTW, 820 AM, 92.7 FM. I'm your host, Mike King, and I appreciate you being here with me because you could be anywhere doing anything else, and I just appreciate it. Join me as we as the show uplifts the community and showcases RVA in a different way. We're coming to you live and direct from the palatial studios of WNTW, the answer high above booming Chester. So this show highlights partnerships, innovation, social enterprise, nonprofits with business people and organizations making a difference. So please follow my other brands, Mike King Biz, as well as RVA Swag Central, and my new endeavor, which is a pregame show with Virginia Union Panther football, and that's on Saturdays preceding the games. We'd like to thank our show sponsor, Nicole Reed Real Estate. Buying and, buying and selling with the pro, Nicole Reed is simply the best in the business. So holding down the board today and keeping the circus in check is our man, Henry, producer extraordinaire, and he can be reached by calling 804-454-1366 if you're so inclined to call the show. So folks, today's show is star-studded and action-packed. We also have breaking news here. A guest host, my partner from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Westchester University's finest and former CW rock star, and now DC bound, my partner, Amber Key. Wow, quite an intro, Mike. Well, you know, you deserve it. <laughs> so, folks, the way it's going to work today, Amber's going to roll with us, and we're going to have our interviews along the way. we got to go pay some bills. My grandkids need stuff, and my wife says i got to bring it home, so. We're going to talk to you about business, how it impacts society in the show today. So now this is the part that really we love to talk about. We're going to have Sean Nicholson, who's a business consultant, who's operating a new SCORE chapter in Chesterfield. It's, it's not that simple, but he's going to tell us all the cool things that he's doing, helping business and entrepreneurs succeed. We're going to take, that's going to take us to the break, which is at 2.30, and then we're going to have uh, Jacob from uh, Nudge Advertising, who's going to give us our social media nugget of the week to help you business folks increase uh, your, I guess, if you're following as far as social media goes and how to get the most out of it. Following that, we're going to have Anisha Rao, who's the founder of Lantera Labs, discussing how they're using technology to uh, have a positive effect in Richmond. Now, folks, Anisha Rao is a friend of the program, having been on uh, RVA Swag Central, and we appreciate the things she's doing. Some of the things that she's talking about, she's going to talk about, are incredible, which is how uh, technology can level the playing field from a business and socioeconomic standpoint. So, like I said, we have to pay some bills along the way because uh, it's not free here. And so, without further ado, by the way, we would like this, we'd like to say thank you to Nicole Reed for sponsoring the program once again, and she's going to come with the real estate report. So with that, we'd like to say hello to Amber. Hi, everybody. So Amber, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? You have to be quick because radio does move quickly. Okay. Uh, a little bit about myself. Well, uh, I'm a native from Pittsburgh. Um, I've been in Richmond for three years. I moved here solely for a job. Um, I worked at CW, Richmond Television Station, where I met Mike King. And we sold television and digital advertising. And then from there, I went um, and was promoted to NBC 12 doing the same thing. Um, my passion is helping businesses grow. And with the emerging, constantly emerging technology that we have, I think there's so many opportunities to expose businesses. Um, and, and I really like working with local businesses. And Richmond is a great place for that. So. It's just a little bit about me. Well, thank you, Emma. Thanks for, for bringing that energy to the program. So without, <laughs> without further ado, we'd like to in, so we'd like to introduce Sean. Uh, Sean, tell us a little bit about what you're doing. All right, great. Thanks, Mike and Amber. Um, my name is Sean Nicholson. I am the managing principal for SMN Square Incorporated. We are business consultants. Um, what we look at doing is um, helping startups and uh, assisting businesses and their growth, uh, leadership development, organization development. Uh, we do a lot of strategic planning. And what I'm learning now is there's a need for succession planning as well. Um, so how do you put things in perspective as you're on your way out um, for business and how do you have wealth building and legacy building? So uh, we're excited about the opportunity to be here. So thank you. Yeah. 
Absolutely. How did you um, start your business? Where did this idea come from? Oh, wow. Oh, it was birthed through, um, wow, a recession, to be quite frank. Uh, we started doing, I, I've been into entrepreneurship like nine, since 98, and I've had several businesses, successful businesses, um, and we've learned that there's a lot of uh, people out there that just don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. um, so after the recession, we were big in real estate and in 2010, we made it, uh, we kind of took a step back and tried to figure out what we were going to do next. Uh, in 2016, we came up with this concept uh, to, because it was a real uh, push for executive coaching. Mm -hmm. you know, and how do I get to the next level? And then um, I was looking at the country and then even local politics and leadership. And I was like, wow, there's a need for leadership development as well. So how do I incorporate the two and what we do and based on our experience and education? And that's where we end up um, coming up with this. Yeah. Nice. So Sean, you have something big coming up, correct? Yeah. So part of um, what, when we created the business, it was largely supposed to be a virtual business. So whoever I had a contract with, that's who I'll be housed at. Uh, we, I got stuff that's going on in Texas and um, in Vegas and uh, other parts of the of the country. And what we wanted to do with this is to have an opportunity for people to come. And I had a business model in 2008, and it's a uh, acronym HUB, H-U-B, and it stands for helping you in business. So we kind of brushed that off, dusted off, and then brought it back to life. And we partnered strategically with SCORE, which is affiliate of SBA, and they are allowing us to host or to have a chapter um, in Chesterfield County. So my actual brick and mortar would be the house or the home for the SCORE Chesterfield branch. Hey, that's good. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. Because that's, awesome. that. that's a big deal, changing the way that people see and, and view business. Yes. The people who kind of helped them along the way to see folks who look like them. Yes. That, that, that's something big. It's major. It's major. And, and, and I think that there's a lot of talent uh, that is that is here, especially in our communities. And what I'm finding out is that a lot of people that have like we'll call them side hustles or hobbies or things like that. They don't know how to create matrix and they don't know how to scale their businesses and right. all. They're good with just cash and carry, you know, but how do I set up a POS system or point of sale? You know, how do I um, work with my social media? How do I get followers in terms of clients that's ultimately going to bring your revenue? So the co-working space, like you said, is the mm -hmm. first one in Chesterfield owned by a person of color. Yeah, this is what I've been told. You know, <laughs> this is what I've been told, especially from the uh, friends over at List, uh, that we're the only, um, um, we'll just say black, owned co-working space. But we're different because they had to classify us some kind of way. Okay. Because we do more than just co-working. So uh, we have co-working, there's conference area, there's executive offices, and there's a training room. And I want to put emphasis on the training room because that's what it all, that's what drives us is the training. So we're going to work them from the back of the house to the front. So, folks, I, I can tell you, I've been to the facility. What what they have there is outstanding. I mean, they do some great work. Sean, now you will work with others. So you work with municipalities. As oh, yeah. Well as so. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So our, our, our clientele, I mean, right now I'm doing a lot of work with uh, the city of Petersburg. Uh, in the crater region, and I've done some stuff with uh, the University of Texas and Austin. Um, we have some personal contacts here. Um, your friend uh, launched Trampoline Park yes. with uh, Lashwana Moore. Um, we helped them with their leadership development and things. So we're we're spreading out. Um, we're working on a deal now with Stratford University in Northern Virginia. So um, we're just excited to just spread the information. Okay, well, and congratulations on that. So what else? So the day of your grand opening, what's the date again? So the date of our grand opening is... Uh, is the 17th of September at 6.30, and it's going to be at The Hub, and that's 10801 Hall Street Road. It's in the Victoria Square Shopping Center. Uh, many of you that are uh, familiar with this area, that's the area where Gabe's is, and uh, the tornado hit that last year, so we're right in that same shopping center. So right next down, down from Mama Shell's Cafe. Got to mention Mama Shell. Shout out to Mama Shell's Cafe Gotta and Michelle. Empire Beauty. So yes. folks can find you there. When you look at business people who are starting out, what do you think is the num? Okay, forget that part. What's the? <laughs> and I just thought about this. When you look at Richmond as from the landscape of business, mm -hmm. what do you see businesses have? What's the number one thing that they have a problem with when people start to look at? How do I get started? Yeah. How do I go from A to B mm -hmm. with things that I may not even know? So, what are the yeah. steps that people take? Well, so it's it's not a cut and dry answer. I mean, there's a there's a um a real issue about access to capital. 
Uh, that that has a lot to do with why businesses you know, start and fail. Um, education, awareness, uh, networking, being able to put yourself around like-minded people, uh, to be able to understand your business and what it takes to make your business grow. Uh, there's a lot of people that we talk to that they have great ideas and their side hustle is amazing, but it's not going to work as a business. You know, it's, it's just not not in the the way that we classify businesses as being. And one thing that we try to do here at uh, the hub, our mission is to to really to help individuals um, to economic independence, because that's what we essentially want, economic independence. And we have like a little phrase that we use, AED, because, you know, in the hospital world, healthcare, you have AED that shocks you back to life. Uh, That's what we do. We assist businesses, we encourage entrepreneurs, and then we help develop um, the the, um, uh, ecosystem for builders, for businesses. So, Amber, being the advertising (laughs) expert, when you look at small businesses, what's the number one mistake that a lot of them make? I think one mistake that I think a lot of small businesses make is that everyone always claims like we have the best customer service. Mm. It doesn't really differentiate them from other people. And so one or other businesses. And so when you were speaking um, and I was thinking about some of the other co-working spaces here in Richmond and how Richmond is is like the center for any entrepreneur. I mean, there's so many local businesses and yeah. so many co-working spaces popping up. Um, what really makes you different from, I mean, other than being black owned, what makes yeah. you different from any other co-working space? Oh, that's great. That's, that's easy. And I, I just wrap it up this way. It's passion. You know, um, I'm passionate about what I do. I have a thing that I say is I pass I on, you know, and so whatever's in me, that's what I'm going to give to someone else. And it's really about knowing your brand, knowing what you're trying to do. Um, I'm good at what I do, period. You know, and and why, and I take that confidence in there, and and it bleeds over to the people and my clients that I'm working with. I can hear an idea. I can hear where you're trying to go, and I just feel I'm gifted enough to be able to take that idea and create something with it. So it's really passion. So once again, let folks know how they can reach you. Well, we're on all social media um, platforms, so it's SMN Square. Uh, that's where you can find us. But our website is www.smnsquare.com, www.smnsquare.com. There you'll find all the information about the businesses that we have, uh, as well as the hub. And if you're looking for a space to come and drop in, we membership base, you can drop in. Um, as a matter of fact, any of those that call, if, if Mike allows it, if you call the day. Well, Mike's going to allow it. Dude, right. we, we don't have rules against that. We're oh, about making that. money here. All right. So we got some free three-day passes here. So I'm going to leave, um, I like the number seven, so I'm going to leave seven of them here. And um, you can call and just give the number and let a, let the community manager know that that's where you heard it from and then you're good. Oh, okay, so, so. Uh, so. What is the member, the regular membership for? Um, so it depends what you do. Uh, if you're doing the um, the drop-in rate, something we have as low as $25 for drop-in rate. If you're going to do a dedicated desk, if you will, it's like 150 uh, The executive offices, we have two of them. They're 500 and then $600. Uh, but you also, our, our training place is... Um, space is able to do socials and networking events and uh, seminars, uh, board retreats for all you nonprofits out there. Board retreats would be a great place for that. And I tell you, the facility is outstanding. What this guy's doing is, is outstanding as well. Thank One you. thing I just want to do is this is a shameless plug. Mm. So I do have Virginia Union football, the pregame yes. show. we just like to thank all. Uh, Sean, for being one of the sponsors. Yes. I mean, you see folks getting in something. This is historic. We're going to have a conservative radio station like we're at here broadcasting and promoting a historically black college and university. I mean, the idea was so crazy. I said, I, I'm, I'm in as soon as I heard it. And so what I do is I go to Sean and say, what do you think about this? And I said, he, I'm in. And he jumped because <laughs> we're looking at this. So who do we have in with this? So we have Premier Bank. We have the Carefree Boating Club. We have organizations who can see some of the ideas that are happening here in Richmond, it's, it's a different place. So right now, folks, the time is, is 20 past the hour. The show is On the Mic with Mike RVA. My name's Mike King. Uh, and I think what we're going to do right now, so as I said, we have to take some calls along the way. And so first on the microphone. So, folks, who do we have joining us today? My name is Marion Key and my husband, Emmanuel Key. And Mrs. Key, so so who are you exactly, ma'am? I am the very proud mother of Amber Key, oh your co-host God. today. Oh. <laughs> <I'm embarrassed. laughs> well, we'd just like to awesome. thank you. 
we would just like to thank you. So hey, the floor is yours, ma'am. Yeah. Well, I am. I have my husband on the phone. And uh, how you doing, Amber, Mr. Key? We, are you there, Emmanuel? So we lost oh, the. God, we lost the caller. We no, no, but we, oh, no, oh, no, but we didn't lose mom. So mom's here. Mom, keep talking. Okay, Emmanuel, are you there? I am here. Hey, okay. thank, thanks for joining us, sir. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. All righty, well, so I, talk to us. Okay, so um, I'm very, very, I'm a very proud mother of Amber, and I am. While I'm sad that she's leaving Richmond, I'm sad for you guys. Uh, we are very excited for her next venture in life and it's really nice to be in pittsburgh and to see her on air looking beautiful in her blue dress and um <laughs> we just wanted to surprise her and tell her how much we love her and how happy we are amber is our first born so she carries a oh, no. here she is oh, here she is she's tearing up Oh, Mom, thanks. <laughs> Mom, you're doing a great job. So we just like to say all the folks here love Amber. She, You guys did a great job. So we just want to say thanks. I just want you to call in. And I knew this was going to get her. Yeah, so, you know, and so we just like to say thanks. <laughs> so, you know, you're in the fundraising business, ma'am. Uh, sorry, I got to yes, go in. We got to go make some money because I got grandkids who, who need stuff. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. All righty. Yeah, hey, so please, thank you. Take care. And I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Mike. Thanks. Now, okay. take care. Bye -bye. See you. All right. Bye-bye. Mr. Henry, who do we have next, sir? All righty, folks. So what we're going to do now is, so the idea behind the show is we just wanted to say, what we want to do is send Amber off in, in the right way. When we talk about doing business, Amber came straight out of college, straight out of Westchester. Shout out to the folks oh, up wow. in Westchester. Nice. Uh, so what she does, and she learned the business. She's excellent in what she does. And when you, when you look at training and the folks that we're going to have here, it's the show sort of has a training feel mm -hmm. what Sean talked about what Anisha is going to talk about in just a little bit about how training can can work with folks and establish you as a business person as a business advertising you have to tell no one ever bought anything that they never heard of you mm -hmm. got to tell people what you do and set yourself apart like Amber said I do great customer service who's going to tell you that they do horrible, horrible. customers that's true <laughs> uh, you know <laughs> our 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 customer services, you know, we're just okay, like the commercial says. You're not okay, you know, that's so you have to make the best of it. This time right here, so we just like to thank uh Sean for coming. And so thank you. uh what we're gonna do at this moment, we are going to go to some commercials and at twenty three past the hour the show is on the mic with Mike and I'm Mike King. Ever wanted something sweet with a buzz? At Tipsy Cupcakes, you get the best of both worlds. Tipsy Cupcakes, cupcakes that'll make you happy. 3423 West Cary Street in Richmond. Imagine your favorite cupcake infused with your favorite alcoholic beverage. Each Tipsy Cupcake is guaranteed to have that kick. Whether you have a special event coming up or you're just feeling indulgent, call 804-326-4737. Order as many as you'll need. Tipsy Cupcakes. Open noon to 8 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday with extended hours Friday and Saturday till 10 p.m. Catering is available. Rental space available. Birthday parties, karaoke, paint and sip, 3423 West Cary Street. Rum, vodka, cognac, and more. Infused in your delicious cupcake. If you've ever wanted something sweet with a buzz, Tipsy Cupcakes, you get the best of both worlds. 3423 West Cary Street. Go to tipsycupcakesrva.com. Got to be 21 eat and drink responsibly. All righty, thank you. Next on the mic, Mr. Henry. Who do we have, sir? All righty, friend of the show, Nicole Reed. Hello. Hey, Mike, how are you? All righty, I'm good. Thanks for asking. So, Nicole Reed, sponsor of the show, super duper friend. So, the best realtor in town here. So, Nicole Reed, tell us what's happening in the world. Hey, guys, it's your girl, Nicole Reed, with Nicole Reed Real Estate here with your market update. So, today, let's talk about expired listings. So what is an expired listing? This is when a home is on the market, never sold prior to the expiration date of the listing contract. Now for the month of August in the Central Virginia region, we had a total of 486 homes that did not sell. With inventory so low, how is that even possible? Well, there are three reasons this could happen. Number one, location where the house is located may not be a desirable error. Number two, condition. 
if the house is not appealing or may not be prepared um, prior to putting the house on the market. And number three, price. Simply put, overpriced. Now, location, not really much of a problem here. Um, that's not something that we can really do about, but the other two definitely we can uh, actually by utilizing some right technique for number two and number three, we can actually solve number one. Now with the average days on the market being 37 days and in some areas much less, there's definitely a way to take care of your expired listings and turn it into a sold listing. And there are 10 things that you, that I want you to do. Number one is call me first and I'll handle the other nine. Call me to schedule your appointment today at 804-721-7630 or visit my website at www.nicolerealestate.com. You can also connect with me on my social media sites at Nicole Real Estate on Instagram and at Nicole Real Estate 1 on Facebook. That's all the news that I have for you today. Tune in with me next time with more real estate updates with your girl, Nicole Reed, with Nicole Reed Real Estate, where I'm here taking care of your needs, helping you live out your dreams. Back to you, Mike. Thank you, Nicole Reed, the best in the business, folks. Make sure you support her, and you can find her on social media, Nicole Reed. Thank you. Yeah, have a great day. All right, same to you. Next, folks, on the mic. So who do we have here? Hi, this is Nikki Tobananula and Hester Brown from Cap Up. Ladies, how are you? Wonderful. How are you? I'm doing good. Okay, so this is radio, so we have to keep things moving. So tell us about Cap Up, and uh, so folks, they're friends of uh, Katina Moss. That's how that's the connection there. They're doing some super outstanding things as far as uh, uplifting the community for everything from food bank to assistance uh, as far as food and shelter and everything. Ladies, the floor is yours. Hey, so Cap Cap Up stands for Capital Area Partnership Uplifting People. And we are a nonprofit organization. We a Richmond Community Action, and we rebranded about 10 years ago. We've been in existence since about 1964, so a little bit more than 50 years. And we are, our mission is to serve the community. We are about helping people to, by providing resources for people to help themselves. Our core values are to change and improve people's lives through reducing the Poverty, strengthening them, making them self-sufficient by providing programs that focus on education and improving the well-being of their lives. All righty, ladies. So let you guys have something big coming up, don't you? Yes, we have a community day coming up on September the twenty-first, which is totally free from the in the morning to two o'clock in the afternoon. All righty. So, folks, where can where can they find you again? Once again, we are running short on time. So, where can folks find you? Located at 1103 Oliver Hill Way is where we're going to have the function at. And our main office is 1021 Oliver Hill Way. So there's two buildings right beside each other. All righty, folks. Make sure you go out and support Cap Up. You can find them. Thank you, ladies. Got to run. Thank you, ladies. All righty, folks. So we, we're on our way to a SRN News. I would like to thank you for uh, joining us in the first half hour of On the Mic with Mike and Mike King. We'd like to thank Sean for coming in, uh, dropping those nuggets of knowledge on us about the business world. Thank you. And with that, uh, we'll see you on the other side. SRN News, I'm John Scott. Hurricane Dorian has flooded homes on North Carolina's Outer Banks, forcing people to retreat to their attics. Hundreds are feared trapped by high water. Meanwhile, hundreds of people have gathered at a port and airport, hoping to escape a Bahamian island devastated by Dorian. International aid efforts are gaining momentum, even as emergency crews still hunt for survivors and the missing. Five days after Dorian blasted the Bahamas, at least 30 people are confirmed dead. Britain's House of Lords has approved a bill designed to prevent the country leaving the European Union next month without a divorce agreement. The law, backed by opposition lawmakers and conservative rebels, compels Prime Minister Boris Johnson to ask the EU to postpone Brexit if no divorce agreement is in place by October 19th.
Stocks are higher. The Dow ahead 99 points. This is SRN News. This story is called The Ugly Truth About Timeshare. If you think you've done your family a favor by buying a timeshare, you need my help. Hello, I'm Chuck McDowell, CEO and founder of Wesley Financial Group. Ten years ago, I started helping folks cancel their timeshare contracts, and in the process started what's now called the timeshare cancellation industry. Timeshare is the only thing that you can buy that you can't tell me how much it's going to cost or when it's going to end. When you buy a timeshare, you give them a blank check to fill out any amount they want for annual maintenance and assessment fees. Sound crazy? The crazy thing is this never ends. Even when you die, your family's now going to be stuck with this burden. Stop the insanity today. Call my office now. I guarantee if we can't cancel your timeshare contract, you'll pay nothing. Call for your free information kit, 800-620-8844. That's Thank you for coming back. The show is on the mic with Mike. My name is Mike King, and uh, the station is WNTW, The Answer. It's 8.20 a.m., 92.7 FM. In the building with us, we have Amber Key, formerly of CWNBC 12, on her way to D.C., and we have Anisha Rao, but first from Lantera Labs. But what we want to do is uh, go into, tell you a little bit about what's going on with the show. So for me, I'd just like to say thank you uh, for tuning in. I'd like to say uh as well, thanks to Sean for coming in in the first half an hour. My brands are Mike King Biz, which is an overall view of, of what I do. We also have RVA Swag Central, which is a TV show that, that uplifts the community and it shows business in a different way. Uh, it's a social enterprise endeavor, the same way this is right here, giving people a voice to do business, and it showcases them and doing the things that they always love to do. On the mic with Mike is this program, and all as we have going on right now, it is uh, uh, oh, Virginia Union football. I just had a, a lapse there. Virginia Union <laughs> football, which is historic, folks, because it's uh, black college football being supported by a uh, Christian conservative radio station, which can be thought of as crazy, and I'm all over it. So without <laughs> further ado, we'd just like to bring in Anisha Rao. Hi, how's it going? I'm good. Now, I'd say you talk louder than that. You're more engaged than that. I know, I know. I'm getting in close. Okay, so here we are. at the right All right, so Anisha Rao runs Lantera Labs, and one of the things I'm always impressed about is how you view technology and the technology space and what it can do to change society. Tell us a little about who you are, what you do, and how Lantera Labs and what you, you guys got some cool things going on with the classes and everything. Yeah, it's it's a really exciting time. So um, I... Uh, 
I am a part of Lanterra Labs, which is a hybrid organization. We have a consultative arm that offers end-to-end -end digital consulting, everything from marketing to data science for clients. And then on the other side, we have an education arm that hopes to educate and empower people in our community uh, by teaching the skills that we consult in. So we have classes in digital marketing. We have a class in leadership. Actually, our fall roster is up right now. Uh, we have a food science course, and then we have integrating technology into the classroom, which is a class designated towards K through 12 educators. So we have four classes in our roster right now. Um, I'd say like the most exciting part of this is that we offer the classes free of charge to anyone who lives under the living wage threshold, which in the city of Richmond is $13.50 an hour. So we'd like to make education accessible. Um, I think that you and I have talked about just kind of the ways in which technology can empower communities. And that's okay. So folks, that's the, that's the point right there. That was something I'd heard and it made a bit, a big impact on me and how I saw things. So please touch on that. Yeah. So I think that, um, Mike and I had talked, I guess, very, very frequently about, or, or every time we had talked, we'd kind of come upon this concept where um, technology is a little more meritocratic than other industries because the progress, much like science, much like mathematics, there isn't like a, a social milieu attached to the product. And as such, when you have a more kind of objective field, you can empower communities that are traditionally disadvantaged, um, you know, intentionally so, structurally so, because the product itself is objective. And so I think that like technology is a little more meritocratic than banking, not because technology is essentially, you know, a, a better product, just because uh, it's a less mature industry and therefore the structural racism that we see in most industries haven't necessarily prevailed in technology. And because it's in a constant state of evolution and a constant state of flux, uh, it advances beyond um, the capacity to create that kind of very human structure of limitation for certain groups. I think on your website, um, I read that um, tech jobs will increase 15 to 19 percent by 2026. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, for you said you have sort of an education piece as part of Lintera Labs. Um, how, what's the age group that you guys are focusing on? Yeah, so we focus on adults primarily, so everyone over the age of 18. Outside of that threshold, we don't have any limitation. Um, I think that technology is very traditionally ageist as well, so mm -hmm. you see this kind of like uh, concept of a young tech you know, white founder. Yeah. Um, and we'd like to, you know, barrel past all of those, you know, misconceptions and ensure that everyone knows that they can learn something new. Um, technology is an, is an ever expanding field and getting into the career isn't just learning one discipline. There are so many different languages, there's so many different skill sets, mm -hmm. and it's constantly changing. So I think that it's not only hopefully someone's career path, but a passion that can sustain them for life. Awesome. And how are you, um, telling people about your programs? Yeah, so um, we do advertise. So we have um, um, digital advertising mechanisms. A lot of our students are coming by word of mouth. Um, we've had one cohort already, so our summer cohort, we just finished up, not just, but kind of feel, everything feels kind of new still. Um, we finished up our summer classes, which included front-end development and digital marketing. And so um, we received kind of a wave of applications um, after we received kind of a spotlight in, in a local paper, which was very exciting. But I think that, you know, with this, I think it's a great service. I think it's, um, you know, tapping into something that hasn't been developed yet for underserved communities. Um, and I think that getting the word out has probably been the hardest part, just knowing that it's accessible to everyone, um, that there's no catches, you know, and that what we're really hoping to do is democratize education and level the playing field for people who, you know, um, maybe you know, didn't have access to education traditionally. Nice. So where are you guys located? Um, so we're right across from that beautiful Lowe's parking lot. No, um, okay. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I sell it. No, um, we're in the fan gallery. So that is um, 1657 West Broad Street, and we're suite 206. You can't miss it. Um, so we're right beside Silk Hair Salon. Um, and so it's, it's fantastic. Um, we're actually, you know, um, renting space from Work and Friends Studios. Uh, I know that we talked about co-working spaces, but they're a co-working space, and then they have studio spaces for companies. And so we're one. Uh, we're we have a few studios. We've knocked down a few walls um, there. Touch and, on the. Um, sorry, Mike. Okay. We're about to touch on the affordability piece of it, and how you know you're you're helping to serve un, uh, the underserved communities, and you know how are they able to utilize your services? Yeah, definitely. So um, 
like when you look at a coding boot camp, I think that the only model that Richmond has accessible to it right now is the University of Richmond model, which is around $10,000 per course. Our courses, we have a sliding scale model if you are a paid student, and that sliding scale is between $150 to $350. Okay. So just off the bat, if you're falling within the paid threshold, it's, you know, a percentage of what a traditional boot camp offers. Um, outside of that, we believe that the MIT's living wage threshold is a good calculation of um, whether or not someone, you know, can afford um, a lifestyle that is equated to, you know, having disposable income, having health care. So we're using the threshold of thirteen fifty an hour um, as, hey, if you, if you earn underneath this value, um, please feel free to, you know, self-report and we use an honor system. Um, and please feel free to attend the course for free. I mean, all of our admissions are, are based on merit. Um, it's not based on, uh, actually the, the payment information isn't even processed until you're accepted. Um, so, I mean, it, it's been fantastic because I think that that hopefully, um, you know, we, we've gotten, we've gotten kind of a, a large percentage of our students have been, um, you know, those living under the living wage threshold. Yeah. Um, which has been fantastic. Something that's recently happened, which is amazing, is that Capital One has, um, you know, built a partnership with us and they've um, given us, you know, a grant value to help launch this round of courses, which is really exciting. Um, it's been amazing working with them. Um, and I think that we're really lucky in Richmond to have something, not something, but, you know, a company of that institutional capacity invest in the community in strategic ways mm -hmm. has been really empowering. Um, I think that, you know, our work is just getting started. Um, I think that eventually what we'd like to do is, you know, create career funnels, create career pipelines for individuals. Um, right now, two people um, from our summer cohort are interviewing at companies that, you know, we've kind of set them up with. But I think that we'd love to increase those numbers to, you know, really create more of a structure for that. Yeah. Um, but I think that in one way that we differ from, you know, a traditional boot camp is we're not we're not promising anything in the context of jobs. We're promising what I hope to be, you know, um, an interest in a passion for technology. And I think that that passion comes alongside so many benefits. And I think that if we can create access to people for job seeking and job placement, that's perfect. Yeah, that's wonderful. Well, so, you know, one of the things that you're doing is, is giving folks a pathway. And one of the ways that this program does does work with folks is we always highlight entrepreneurs who are up and coming, folks who are making a difference in the community. And uh, so, folks, the studio, we just have folks who just happen to be, you know, meandering by. Popping in. Exactly. <laughs> we have, uh, so, please, so we've, we've added to the group here. Tell us who you are and what your business is. Hi, I am Amira Minton. I am the owner of I Adore Her Body Spa and Exquisite Pearls Teeth Whitening. And currently what I'm doing is providing um, mommy makeovers. And I'm a person that really likes to boost other people's confidence. Okay. So um, I am targeting um, the communities where women want to basically look good because when you feel good you look good okay um so basically i'm offering cavitation and that is a procedure where you can break down fat cells and uh that d works with um ultrasonic uh, radio frequency and the fat cells breaks down into your lymphatic system and from your lymphatic system it drains through your urine and uh, natural uh, defecation or sweat, basically. So um, with that being said, you can lose one or two inches in one session um, around your torso. I also do um, cellulite treatments uh, for ladies that want to shape their legs as well. Um, I also do vacuum therapy sessions for ladies that want to sculpt their body more. And that comes with the um, breast lift, if they've breastfed or anything like that, um, basically targeting women that has gone through a lot with their bodies with chopper. So you have something big coming up too, don't you? I do. Um, my Breaking grand, news. <laughs> okay. Yes, my grand opening is on September 14th from 1 to 5, and I'm making it a charitable event. We're giving to the mental health. Um, charity, which is also going to be donated to um, Mental Health of America, Virginia okay. organization. 
and we will also have uh, the AKA's um, sorority, they will be joining in, um, and the Deltas may be also, I'm just waiting on them to confirm it. Um, so we're doing Step for Mental Health as well, and then I'm also going to have um, Shantae, known as VA Dancer. She's a Zumba instructor. All righty. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. So... One last time, how can folks find you? We want to support you. Yes, they can find me on Instagram at I Adore Her Body Spa, no spaces, or you can find me on Facebook under Amira Miss Exquisite Minton or Exquisite Pearls Teeth Whitening on my Facebook Instagram. And congratulations on the teeth whitening yeah, thing. Like I said, you. that you've been around with that for a, a while. Yeah, ever since 2015. I also give training classes for anyone that wants to gain a six-figure income. Um, with doing instant teeth whitening. So I travel different states for that as well. And so, folks, that's what the program's all about. We're trying to level the playing field of folks having income, whether it's uh, Anisha as far as training, whether mm -hmm. it's you starting a business and keeping it going. You look at how many businesses don't make it. Right. right. Almost five years. And yeah. so it's saying congratulations on that. Thank you. And uh, with that, folks, like I said, we got the time is uh, 2.47. It's 47 past the hour. The show is on the mic with Mike. Uh, WNTW 820 AM or 92.7 FM. I'm Mike King. And what we're going to do is we got to slide away for a couple minutes. And uh, don't go anywhere. And uh, we'll be right back. Mr. Henry, who do we have on the line, sir? All right, Senator. Hello, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. It's Shatara Weaver with God Mama Wear. So, God Mama Wear. So, please tell folks about you. <laughs> sure. Uh, so God Mama Wear is an embroidery business. Um, we do custom logo embroidery for business clients as well as monograms and other cool custom items for individual clients. Um, when people ask me what is it that I embroider, I say shirts and hats to yoga mats. We've had so many different items that our clients have come to us with do embroidery. Um, so we do all sorts of things. Um, we've been around for about three years. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool about our business, um, like your guest said before, is we like to give an impact and make an impact to the community. So with every purchase of goods or services, um, of embroidery goods or services, uh, our, our clients are allowing us to help assist with uh, creating an impact. We give to local women-led nonprofits supporting STEM. I myself am a woman that um, has a chemical engineering background, so it's important to me to make sure that women and girls that are in, interested in STEM have a chance to be, have a seat at the table when we're talking about product innovation. And shout out, the only time that shout out to your sister. Happen. That's how we connected with GI yeah, STEM. Absolutely. So Jim, G STEM is actually one of our, um, one of the people that we've actually had a chance to do some sponsorship with. Um, so we, we definitely shout out to them. They're actually having their, their launch on uh, 10 6. So we're really excited about that. All righty. Well, thanks. So, folks, by the way, God Mama is the official embroiderer of On the Mic with Mike. And what was that name? Of the mm -hmm. uh, God Mama Wear. That, that is something. But yeah. she's my personal uh, embroiderer. So thank you for everything. And, folks, thank make sure you. you support our business. And with that, we got to go. we gotta, we got to pay some other bills around here. Thanks now. <laughs> <laughs> Next on the mic, who do we have? Hello, it's Mike. Hello. Je Hello. Hey, Mike, Jeff Palumbo with Carefree Boat Club. Jeff Palumbo with Carefree Boat Club. So, folks, this program, we have folks with all kinds of things. So, Jeff, tell, tell folks about the Carefree Boat Club and what that means because people are like, what is that? Well, right now I'm down here at Rockets Landing Marina, which is right next to the boathouse, looking at our beautiful waterway here and uh, our whole fleet of boats that are for our members only. And members come in, it's a membership club, and you get unlimited use of our fleet of boats. Take out any one of our beautiful boats. we got this gorgeous coach right here. It's all leather, decked out, just a big floating cushion, uh, couch cushion, if you want. All right. And uh, you can pull a skier behind it. Great, great, uh, great family uh, membership club in singles, whatever you want. Come out and have fun. Bring your friends down. Go out and boat all day. Have a great time. That's what we do. Boating without owning. Okay, hey, so that's great. So, Jeff, how can folks – we also want to say Jeff is one of the uh, sponsors for uh, VUU uh, football pregame, and uh, we just like to say thanks for that. So, Jeff, how can folks find you? 
Yeah, you can uh, you can take a look at our membership and our whole fleet of boats at carefreebc.com, which is C A R E F R E E B C dot com. All that uh, information's on there. Our phone number, how to reach us, and uh, come on down, take a tour, check out the boats, and uh, you know, be, be a member. Alrighty, I appreciate Jeff. Thanks for everything. Now, take care. You too, buddy. Thanks. Alrighty. I can't begin to tell you how Premier Bank helps simplify my busy life. Premier's mobile banking app gives me 24-7 access to my accounts and check deposit with my phone. With Secure Lock Equip, I have a tool that gives me complete control over my debit card. I can receive instant alerts, set spending limits, turn card on and off, and even control where it can be used. And Premier's People Pay lets me send someone money without writing a check. Premier Products and Premier Service from Premier Bank. Member FDIC. A Premier Bank Home Equity line of credit can open many doors for you. The door to a brand new kitchen, or the door to a shiny new car or SUV. Maybe the door to a college education for your kids. No matter what doors you want to open, Premier Bank can help with great rates and money to lend to qualified borrowers. Call or visit your nearest Premier Bank office to learn more. Premier Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval and qualifying credit score. Premier Bank. Hey, this is your chef, Michelle Wilson of Mama Michelle's Cafe, located at 10811 Hall Street Road, Midlothian, Virginia. Our number, 804-912-1644. Come and join us. We have live entertainment, a new menu. Follow us on Facebook at Mama Michelle's Cafe, Twitter, and Instagram. We are sold south of the James. Hi, do you struggle with forming the right words to draw in your target audience? Are you stuck on page one of that manuscript? Do you need an extra set of eyes to critique and edit your flyers, emails, or manuscripts? Do you need more time to do what you love within your business and life? If you answer yes to any of these questions, I would love to assist you. My name is Amanda Eady, and I am the literary enthusiast. I'm an editor, ghostwriter, proofreader, and creative assistant for small business owners and entrepreneurs. You can contact me today at www.amandaeady.com. Let me help you creatively change the world. So, folks, we're back. And so at the time now is uh, 53 past the hour. My name is Mike King. The program is On the Mic with Mike, RVA. Uh, so we're going around the room. We can say, we'll tell a little bit about, we're wrapping things up here as we speak. So first up, we'll go ahead and Anisha, what, what do you guys have going on? What's new and exciting in your world uh, that you'd like to tell folks about? Yeah, um, so right now we have a roster of fall courses. They start on the 16th and applications are still open. Um, so there's a course designated towards educators, towards those who are new managers or supervisors in a technical role who want kind of more leadership experience. Someone who's interested in starting their for in um, the technical career kind of uh, realm uh, in digital marketing. And then um, and who's the who's the teacher of that class? Who would that be? <laughs> I teach our digital marketing oh. class. Um, okay. So so I'm a little bit of a digital marketing nerd. Um, yes. Okay. That's fine. That's <laughs> I think good. I'm being cut off. I think he's, like, he's like, all right. Uh, once I hear nerd, that doesn't sell. <laughs> nerds have become popular. There were a time that you know it's nerds are running the world. I know you got the dad sneaker. I mean Yeezys. Come on, those are like the ultimate. Dad dad sneakers yeah i know when when old men start wearing sneakers <laughs> that are yeah but <laughs> oh i didn't see those hey diana got those for me nice. I said to wear them. okay so thank you mr henry <laughs> so <laughs> i've been married for 39 years shout out to my wife and taking care of the grandkids at the house baby i'm on the way as soon as we're done uh to give you a break with this okay so next we have I'm Amira, the, only, the owner of I Do Her Body Spa and Exquisite Pearls Teeth Whitening. I would like to let you all know, uh, if you would like to reach me directly for any questions, you can reach me at 804-433-6333. As well as that, if you're interested in coming out and having a good time with us and being a part of history in the Glen Allen area, um, 
you can go to eventbrite.com and look for I Adore Her Body Spa Grand Opening and Charitable Event. Folks, make sure you get out and support. What we're trying to do is support entrepreneurs in this business. That's what this microphone and the platform is, and we do whatever we can. Uh, every business that's a, that succeeds, that's a, a feather in our cap. Folks, make sure when you when you tell folks, make sure you say it, uh, you were at On the Mic with Mike. I appreciate it. Oh, Mr. Henry, we do have someone. Okay. Next up on the mic, who do we have? Hello? 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 It's Mike. Hi, Mike. Hello. Who do we have here? Elvetta Vasquez. All righty. So tell us about your business. Uh, my name is Elvetta Vasquez, and we own and operate at Table Massage Therapy. And we are located in North Chesterfield, Virginia, off of Pocahontas Boulevard. And we are an all-inclusive massage clinic. And your son, Brian Stitt, he is, uh, he's yes. a real creative. He has a great brand. And he's a great young guy. So I give a shout-out to you, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So tell us about your business. So tell us about your business. Where are you located? When, what type of services that you do? Okay. We do all types of massage. We do manual lymphatic drainage. We do pregnancy massage. We do geriatric massage. We do Swedish, which is the most popular. We do sports massage. Um, we are located at 2505 Coco Shock Place, and we're right off of Hall Street, about a mile from Tippenham Parkway. And we, we, we are basically, uh, all, like I said, all-inclusive massage clinic. Okay, give us the name once again. At Tesla, A-T-T. E V L E at Table Massage Therapy. And how can folks find you on social media? We you can find us at, at Tevle.com. That's the website, A T T E V L E dot com. Alrighty. We're also on uh, Facebook and Instagram under the same name. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Tell Brian I said hey. Okay, I will. Thanks, Alrighty. Mike. Thanks. Now take care. So folks, that's the that's the way the program works. We just like to thank uh, Amber Key for Thanks for having me for, nice. for jumping in. She's <laughs> on her way out of Richmond, going up to the big city of Richmond, going to where? DC. What's the name of the where are you going, going to? Going to Fox Five. Fox Five. <laughs> See, that's what happens, you know, Richmond, NBC twelve, Fox Five blowing up in the world. Congratulations. Thank you. And so folks, with that, we just like to say thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next week uh, at two PM on Friday. And with on the mic with Mike tomorrow, we'll catch you with uh, VU the Panther pregame show. And please follow my other brands. It's Mike King Biz as well as on the mic with Mike and RVA Swag Central. Well, with that, we are out. <laughs> <laughs>